two nights in a row, around 11 o'clock in the evening, I'm asleep. The third night, I'm just about asleep. A buddy of mine brought me some marijuana. I was halfway to heaven. All three nights in a row, I was woken up to take medication that is supposed to make me sleep. And three or four hours later, I'm anxious, I'm twitching, my mouth is dry, my joints hurt, and I feel like an absolute bag of shit. I spend half my days sleeping and half my nights twitching. And this is under the guise of them trying to help me. I go to my review board. The psychiatrist, Dr. Imbalance, is telling the board, with my brother as a mediator in between us, nothing but lies. She says, oh, he's got all these stories. Oh, he's had 50 vehicles. My brother said more than 100. Oh, he's uh, got a board game. My brother told her it was finished. Uh, movies, uh, uh, writing books. My brother told him I've been writing since I was a baby. The movies are on their way. You know, she says to me, oh, he says he has all these, all these uh, friends in high places. Well, I used to be the landlord of one of the judges in town. Sidney Simons, one of the most famous lawyers on the West Coast. I've been to his house. Uh, Clark Purvis, uh, article under Sid Simons. I've known him for 35 years. When I go, go see him, he says he'd never seen me so agitated after the police treated me, uh, uh, throwing me in jail with no charges, no phone calls, in my underwear, uh, no blanket, no cot. And uh, second time, they arrested me three times in five weeks. Second time, they beat me up in the parking lot in my hometown of Victoria. Something has got to be done about this crap. People